I'm Carrie Sharp with the News Channel 5 Network, and these are your evening headlines. A freshman arrested today for carrying a loaded gun to school. Acting on a tip from a student, Metro officers say the pistol was found inside a pencil holder inside the 14 year old's backpack at East High School. It was loaded with 12 rounds. The teen refused to answer questions, according to police, and has been charged with unlawful gun possession. A visitation for Deborah Johnson is set for tomorrow. She is the Department of Corrections Administrator. Curtis Watson is accused of killing. It's set for 3 o'clock at 15th Avenue Baptist Church in Nashville. A funeral service will be held the following day. Johnson worked for TDOC for 38 years. She had planned to retire later this year. Vanderbilt fans will now be able to enjoy a beer while cheering on their Commodores. The university announced today plans to sell alcohol at football games this season. It will only be beer and wine for right now. The decision comes after the SEC lifted its alcohol ban back in May. School officials say they'll decide about selling alcohol at other sporting events later on. As Nashville grows, so does the number of people at the airport. BNA set a monthly record for total passengers last month. The airport saw more than 1.6 million people in July, and that's up from the previous record that was set just the month before. BNA officials say they've seen 17 million people come through in the last year. Time for a check your forecast now with meteorologist Bree Smith. Nice to see quiet skies continuing across the midside. It was a tough Tuesday, but the rest of this work week pretty boring. Benign weather as far as August goes. Highs near 90, lows right around 70. Feeling somewhat humid in the afternoon, but not like it did on Monday and Tuesday. 90 for your top temperature uh, on Thursday afternoon. The cold front that sparked Tuesday storms, it has brought some drier air to the midstate, so that's why it doesn't have quite that thick quality that we had for the first couple days but it's not going to stay that way. Heat humidity building big time as we head into the weekend mid 90s with that heat index near triple digits.